Hello everybody. So in this screencast, we're going to look at how you can initialize a fragment and send the data during that initialization in the initialization stage. So let's create a new um, fragment. Okay, here it is. And a blank fragment. We'll call it, for example, for example, we call it uh, profile fragment. Here it is. Now, looking back at the main activity when it runs, it shows the uh, this form, right? So let's say the user provides the username, and let's say also we add another edit text. Let's say they provide the the uh, age, for example, of the user or something like that. So basically, we go to the home fragment. I'm going to add other fields. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add another edit text. Let's say a number. Allow them to enter a number. Let's say uh, a decimal number. And I'm going to put that decimal number, I put that under here. And this guy, I'm going to make it go under the new uh, edit text. Okay, here it is. There we go. And one and two. And basically, this is going to be, uh, where is the thing here? This is going to be, let's say, the age. Okay, enter the age of the person, for example. Okay, so the user is going to enter the name, the name and the age. Okay, the username and the age, and then this one we can just call it as age. All right, here it is. And basically, when I'll create an object, let's say new. Um, the Java class. Let's call, for example, the profile, the user profile, and the user profile has a string name and uh, double. And then we just create a, uh, a constructor based on both and getter and setter for both of them. Okay, all right. So I have this profile object that I would like to hold the age and the name of the person. And when the user clicks submit, I'm going to send it to the main activity just for the time being, right? So we go back, this is age. Okay, so we go back here uh, in the uh, home fragment. We already have the button set up here. So now what we could do, we could get the name here and we could also do double, uh, we could do uh, um, uh, double uh, age equals binding dot edit text, age dot get text. Text dot to string, right? And then we can do double dot. So that gets me the string. Double dot value of. Here we are. Now you need to surround this by try catch block because this can uh, can throw number format exception. Here we are. And now I can just move this code here. So I have the age and I have the name. Now basically what we can do is we can, we can go in and say, for example, if name is empty, right, then I'm going to show a toast. Else if the, um, maybe you can do some check on the age, but uh, anyway, else this means everything is good because the the age you already get it through the try catch, right? So if there's a problem, we're going to show a toast here. Okay, and go to activity, say enter valid name. Similarly, if there's a problem with the number, we'll say enter valid age. Here we go. Now, if everything is good, mm -hmm. if everything is good, we're gonna create that profile, right? The profile object and send it to the main activity. So we create a profile, a profile, click on new profile, and it expects the name and the age. Okay, so here is the profile we created it. Now I'd like to send it to the main activity. So when I look at my when I look at my uh, uh, interfaces, I say send username, right? So basically I, I want to say void send profile. Okay, here it is, and here is the profile. So I'm going to send it the profile. So basically, I'm going to here. I'm going to say 
Mr.Send profile. Here is the profile. Now the main activity needs to implement that method. There we are. Okay, there it is. So it receives the profile. Now what I would like to do, you know, I, I, let, let's just show you this, right? So I'll, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to show you that I receive it. Uh, the two string, I'm going to run the two string. So now what I'm going to do is that when the main activity receives it, I'm just going to uh, load the the uh, the profile that I received, just to show you that the main activity receives the profile. So we run it. Look at. Here we are. I it click submit. It says enter a valid age. So the name. It, there's an issue with the name. Let's have a look. <laughs> so here is the home fragment. If the name is empty, enter a valid name. Yeah, the age crashes before the name. That's why. So you need, you can do this here. You could say, uh, if you can do this check here. So basically, I could do this check here, somewhere here, and then else something here, and then I can move the try catch inside, inside the else, and then I don't need to check for the name again. So we can just remove that stuff from here and put it here. Okay. So basically, what I did is just simply. Uh, what I did just so that it can it, it, it happens in sequence so basically I retrieve the name check to see if the name is empty if it's empty I print this message else we are here we check the age and then we go from there so now run it again here it is now I click submit it says enter a valid name let's say Bob here it is and I click submit it says enter a valid age now we go here enter like 33 and I click submit and now you can see that send profile is printing uh, the profile of the user. So if you look at the main activity, this is what's being printed inside the main activity. So what I would like to do is I would like to send this profile object to another fragment, which I which we created. We called it the profile fragment, and it should display the name and age of the person, right? So basically, what we could do is let's go to the profile fragment and just add a little bit of layout to it. Here, I'll change this the root to a constraint layout, and then I'll add uh, just a label to say welcome. Then I'll add two other labels, one of them for the age, and the other one is for the name. Right. So basically, this one is going to be the welcome, a welcome to whatever welcome, and then there we are. This is the name. this up a little bit make it maybe 20 and this is going to say welcome right and then this one is bump it up a little bit let's say 16 a little bit of thing a little bit of margin and then there's also 16 and here so this one is going to be called the name and uh, this text view is going to be called the age so now I have these, uh, maybe I go up to here, add a little bit of padding, PNGP, and everything will be pushed in a little bit. Okay, so here we are. This is the profile fragment. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to send the profile, this profile object that I received here to the profile fragment. Okay, so in order to do that, if you go to the profile fragment when I created it, you see all this, these comments. So basically what I need to do is I need to implement this method. Method. It's called new instance. And basically what new instance does, it returns a profile fragment, right? In that profile fragment, what it does, it receives some parameters, it creates a bundle, and it adds these parameters inside the bundle. And then the, these parameters are what the fragment needs to function. You know, the data that is passed to the, to the fragment. In this case, the, the boilerplate or the default one that is being s provided when you create a fragment is you're passing some string parameters. In our case, we're not going to be passing string parameters. We're going to be passing an object of pro a profile object. Okay, and it gets received here. You add it in an argument and you add the argument to the fragment, and then in the on create you retrieve these parameters and use them. Okay, 
it's very important because if the fragment has to recreate to be recreated this bundle will be maintained and that would maintain the state of the of the fragment right so in our case the first parameter is a profile so it's only one one we only have one parameter and it's the profile parameter. now yeah bundle is being created here is a bundle this is very similar to the intent or the extras in the intent it's like a key value pair and if you look here this is a key right this is your key that and then the value is the parameter so it's so basically let's call this key something useful so this is the profile let's say something like that arc parameter profile here it is okay this is our key and then our parameters are not param1 and param2 our parameters are private uh, profile profile m profile so the local variables we are going to start them off with an m okay all right so here is the profile object that i would like to retrieve this is arg profile and profile now you cannot just put a string it's not a string it's put serializable here it is and we close now it's not happy because most probably this profile object does not implement serialize so we go here and implements seri serializable here we are we go back here and we good you see here so our bundle we add the argument that we receive to the bundle and then you see fragment.set arguments and it returns a fragment this is a factory method it's a new instance it returns a profile right so now here when you are here you say m profile equals get arguments dot get serializable arc profile and we're good and these are out now this one is not happy because it needs to be casted to a profile so here we are okay now can we do some binding i like to use binding so i'll do binding here fragment uh, this is fragment and profile binding binding here it is and basically we'll do binding equals fragment profile binding dot inflate inflator um, container false and here we are return binding dot root okay so that's done with the binding now we need to implement what on view created on view created here it is and now when on view created um, the on create when the when the fragment is created you get the profile so basically i could go in here i could say uh, m uh, sorry binding dot uh, text view name okay dot set text set text to m profile dot get name right and then similarly binding dot text view h dot set text m profile dot get age say for example years old right because this is a double what we could do is we could do this uh, double dot dot string value uh, sorry string dot value of string dot value of here so basically we change it into the double into a string and then years old all right so basically i did it's very simple this this demonstrates how you can pass data to the profile okay so now the expectation is that when you create this profile fragment when you create the profile fragment you're going to send it the data through this new instance right and then it gets retrieved in the on create and then get reused so now if we go back to um, the uh, main activity it received the profile now it wants to replace so we're going to replace the current screen with the uh, profile fragment so get support fragment manager dot begin instance start instance uh, begin transaction right, dot commit and then we go here and say replace r dot id id dot container view and then i'm not going to say new uh, profile fragment i will say profile fragment dot new instance and pass it the profile because this is a static method right here it's a static method that implements returns an inst a profile instance that has the data inserted as part of its arguments okay now do you want to push to the pop push to the back stack so add to back stack right so here we are so now when we run this you will see that you enter some data here let's say for example we say bob smith and 33 and we click on submit 
and it shows up in the home fragment. Now, it's still saying the home fragment because the profile fragment, we didn't change the title. So let's change the title. Get activity. Let's get activity. Dot set title to, this is the profile fragment. And we write again. Okay, so we are here. Say Bob Smith and step three, submit. And there it is, welcome Bob Smith. 333 wow so when you click on back it shows up this you see it's still maintaining the data because it's coming in from the back stack submit and here it is welcome bob smith 33 years old all right so i hope this makes sense we did show you how to create a fragment um, how to create a fragment and how to pass it data you know when you create a fragment and you want to pass it data you pass data this way so adding the the parameters this way enables the uh, the system if there is a case where the system has to recreate the fragment again it will recreate it with the same bundle parameters that you passed originally that is much better than passing the parameters in the constructor because in the constructor the system has no idea about what data you are trying to uh, to 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 maintain and thus when it if it has to recreate the, uh, if it has to recreate the fragment, it cannot recreate the fragment with the data that's being passed to the constructor. So that's why passing it through arguments is the best way to do it. Now, when does, when, what's the use case for this? When you rotate the screen. So when you basically try to rotate the screen, the fragment will be redrawn using the bundle parameters that were sent originally. And that's why you should maintain the uh, bundle parameters. Uh, or when you set, when you create a fragment and you want to send the data in initialization, you should use this pattern that we just discussed. You know, it's very really straightforward. You just have to implement the new instance, pass it the data that you want, add the data to the arguments as, as part of the arguments of the fragment, and then in the onCreate, you retrieve your data, and then you go and use the data somewhere else in your code. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.